you. Hello, this is Angelia with today's wisdom. Today's wisdom comes from Daily Ohm, Strong Woman, Empowering Feminine Energy. Now, some people have a problem with strong women, but I'm not one of those people. <laughs> you might have guessed that. Um, so often in our world, we tend to think of strength as a quality that arises from a place of firm determination and a will to succeed no matter the cost. And sometimes that's true. Um, that's not always a good thing. Even though we might want to think of a strong woman as being defined in this way, what really makes a woman confident is her capacity for listening to her true self and being able to call upon her feminine wisdom to any situation that may arise. Um, and like, you know, men call it women's intuition. Um, and it's basically the fact that we have three times the connection in our corpus callosum. Our logical and emotional sides talk to each other. Um, that's why men think we're too emotional. But have you ever been around a man when he's emotional? He probably put a woman to shame. But uh, it's because they have to shift gears. Um, so we're a little quicker on the draw, about three times quicker. So it appears like we have some intuition that they don't. What it is is just we see things quicker, you know. Um, and that's why, you know, sometimes we kind of warn our male friends or whatever about a situation. And they're like, oh, no, no, it's not like that. And then it is like that. So, <laughs> because we could see it. <laughs> a woman does not need to step into an assertive role or act like a man in order to be effective at what she does. And actually, I, I, I've met women like that who I think wish they were a man. Um, I'm not a fan <laughs> of such behavior because, you know, uh, my grandma raised me to be a lady and I think there's something to be said for being a lady. Um, you don't need to go out and with the guys and try to out drink the guys and cuss like a sailor. I just, I don't see the need for that. That's just my opinion. She simply needs to get in touch with her insight and sense of compassion to truly demonstrate the depth of her strength. And now some people don't think compassion is a strength. They think it's a weakness. Um, but that's not true. Because when you come from a loving place and you have love in your heart, you can be compassionate and understanding for others. That doesn't mean you have to accept their behavior, but you can have compassion and understanding for others. Um, and when you can do that, then you know you've matured some and, you know, you're a loving person. Listening to the feminine side of ourselves may not seem easy at first, for this type of energy is something that is often overlooked in many aspects of our everyday lives. Uh, because the world is go-getter, you know, world, and a lot of times, you know, the uh, more feminine aspects of, you know, society get pushed to the side for the more masculine, you know, go and get it and be strong and blah, blah, blah. If we can connect with the part of who we are, however, we will find that there is an unlimited wellspring of strength available to us. And that's inner strength, strength of character, strength of mind, strength of heart, strength, you know, uh, in situations where you, you need to be able to hold up, you know? Um, and that is important. You know, I'm sure we've all met these wise, strong people that we look up to because they're not having, you know, a meltdown at every little thing. And they're, you know, using their mind and their heart. And, you know, these are the people that we looked up to. This is why, you know, we even just talk about philosophy. Because <laughs> we knew some people who got it. And, you know, we like to be like those people. Our capacity to tap into our intuition and listen to our inner guides. To take into account the needs of those around us and to view a situation with compassion and love are ways that we can show the world the true power that is part of our feminine nature. Um, because the feminine is powerful. Um, and, um, uh, my goodness. The feminine is usually more constructive than your masculine. Your masculine is usually a little more destructive than the feminine. So the masculine uh, should take into account 
the feminine because you know uh, the masculine is usually quick to judge and you know make things right or you know fight you know and whereas the feminine is a little more thoughtful um, and compassionate and is willing to take a situation and turn it around for what's good for everyone and be more constructive about it um, and that's just a fact <clears throat> when we learn to integrate this source of strength into our daily tasks and decision making we will find that we can be more flexible and open to the things that happen around us and more receptive to new ideas um, because you know uh, that is part of uh, the feminine side you know um, is to be receptive and to you know uh, think you know um, and to be willing to communicate and work out differences. That is a feminine strength. Not only will we see the world in a different light, but we will truly start to realize the potential for this form of energy to both empower ourselves and those around us. Um, because, you know, when you're not stuck in this, you know, all or nothing way of thinking, then you can start to live more authentically um, and to be there for others as well as yourself. As we cultivate our feminine energy, we can redefine the meaning of strength because strength doesn't always mean hard. Um, if, you know, I'm sure by seeing Mulan, you know, uh, strength of the willow is in its bending, you know. The wind can blow it over and then uh, it'll sit right back up. So, you know, uh, strength is not always hard. Sometimes strength is soft. By embracing our feminine power as something that is strong in its own right, we are able to use it with true assurance and determination and draw upon what truly belongs to us. Because in this world, you know, uh, women wanted to be more like men, you know, in uh, the 40s during the war. Um, I had a Rosie the Riveter poster over here, um, and women went to work and did that, and then they realized, hey, I can have money, I can have a life outside of the home, you know, that's fulfilling. Um, and so, you know, uh, they went back in the home in the 50s, and then the 60s, they're like, yeah, maybe we don't necessarily want to be back in the home, <laughs> you know. Uh, and it got more crazier than that, but we won't even get into that. But, uh, you know, if you want to be a strong woman, you know, empower your feminine energy. Because it is, you know, a creative energy versus a destructive energy. Um, and we need a lot more of that in the world today. Think about it. Uh, please like and share this wisdom so we can spread it around the world. Um, if you want to help me out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out even more, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.